how did you, you know, come to venture and come to be the rising star, as we said, and, and now obviously a partner at Signal Fire? Um, so I grew up in Romania in a village until the age of 18. At 18, I won this grand prize in a contest organized by NASA, and uh, that was the first time for me on a plane. I was flying to Mountain View to NASA Ames, and there I was mesmerized by the amount of intelligent system work they're doing, and I knew I have to be in software. So I get back home, and I tell my dad I want to go to college, and he got a shock because this was uh, something new for our family. Um, and I moved to Germany by myself to study computer science, um, actually machine learning, back when math lab was the only ML ops tool around. Um, after classes, I was working for um, SAP and two other jobs, but SAP was the one who got me back to the Bay Area. I transferred into their uh, Palo Alto office. My first experience in the U.S. was finding a room to rent on Craigslist, and I ended up living in the house of the head of microelectronics division at Atari. Um, I was and still am a diehard Atari fan, so I was starstruck when I met Mr. Robert Brown, and that's when I felt like I truly arrived to, to the valley. Can I, can I just ask you a blunt question, which is like, it's a massive move, like moving, you know, about halfway around the world to the US without knowing people, without having a support network. Were you nervous, and how did it feel as a young person uprooting your life? It was different and it, I think maybe because when you're young, you take more risks, but I think it's also the fact that many people don't realize that wasn't the first time I moved somewhere. The, it was a lot harder to move to Germany, um, having only known English and French, no German, and being away from home for the first time and away to a totally different country and not having a mobile phone, um, not having a laptop, trying to get all the things set up for myself. So coming to the US was easier because I knew the language. I knew I want to come back ever since the NASA, the NASA experience, I knew I want to come back. So it was everything I was wishing for. But yes, it was a shock, especially as a European, to arrive at the airport and realize there is no easy public transportation to where you were going <laughs> and you have to rent a car and drive everywhere. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a shot for all Europeans. I, I do want to ask before we dive into the show and kind of focus obviously on venture and founders, but I always believe that we're all running towards something and we're all running away from something. What do you think you're running from first? And then what do you think you're running towards one? I'm running from unfulfilled potential. I think there is nothing sadder than unfulfilled potential. And I'm running towards fairness and many amazing opportunities for good people. And good people are often very diverse people. 